वाइट चिकन बिरयानी Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. I'm Sonika, and the recipe that I've got for you today is out of a biryani. So we're making a chicken biryani, but as usual, we're going to make a slightly different one. So today we're making a white chicken biryani. So let's take a look at all the ingredients we need to make this biryani: soaked long grain rice, chicken on the bone, boiled onion paste, butter, fresh cream, yogurt, cashew nut paste, fried onions, green chilies. Khoya or mawa, clarified butter or ghee, cinnamon sticks, lemon juice, black pepper powder, ginger paste, garlic paste, black peppercorns, salt, saffron, green cardamom pods, garam masala powder, green cardamom powder, and oil for cooking. Now that we've seen all the ingredients that we need to make this biryani, let's start preparing it. So what we'll do first is that we're going to heat some oil in a pan. So once the oil is gone nice and hot, we're going to add in the whole spices to this. So I'm going to add in one whole stick of cinnamon, a few cloves, say one bay leaf, a few pods of black pepper, and around two to three pods of green cardamom. Next, I'm going to add two out of the three slit green chilies. Be careful once you add the green chilies because the seeds are going to cause the oil to splutter a lot. So after that, I'm going to add in the boiled onion paste. Now to make this paste, you just need to boil whole onions for a couple of minutes in water, and then you grind them to a fine paste like this in the mixer. So let's add in the boiled onion paste. So how we're going to prepare this biryani is that we're going to make a white gravy, a white chicken gravy, and then we're going to lay our rice over it. So we got a beautiful white biryani at the end of it. So to the ingredients that are in the pan, I'm going to add in some garlic and ginger paste. So I'm going to add in a big bunch of ginger paste, and then I'm going to also add in some of the garlic paste. And I'm going to give this a good mix. Let it sauté for a couple of minutes, and then we can proceed and add in some other ingredients. To make this biryani creamy, like it's supposed to be, we're going to add in some khoya or mawa. And we're going to mix this well. Once the khoya starts melting, you'll see that it's got a, it started releasing some of its oil, and that's when we're going to add in the other ingredient, that is yogurt. So in a couple of minutes, we should be ready to do that. At this point, I'm going to add in the yogurt, and we're going to mix this nicely so you get one homogeneous mixture. So after the yogurt, we're going to add yet another ingredient, which is going to add to the richness in this recipe. So that is some cashew paste. You just need to soak cashew nuts in water and then grind them in the mixer. So you get a nice smooth paste like this. Give it a mix. So now to the white gravy that's in the pan, I'm going to add some butter. I'm going to add a big chunk of butter because we want it to be nice and creamy. Give this a good mix. I'm going to add quite a bit of pepper powder because the spice that's going to come in this dish is from the pepper powder and from the green chilies. We're not using much of red chili powder or something like that. So we'll add in around a spoonful of black pepper powder. Our white masala base for the biryani is almost ready, but now we're going to add in the star ingredient in any chicken biryani. We're going to add in the chicken. So let's dip in the chicken pieces. After adding in the chicken, we're going to turn the heat on high, and we'll mix this around for a couple of minutes, and then we'll add some water and wait for the chicken to cook. At this point, I'm going to add in some water into this, so around half a cup of water, and mix this well. Now we're going to add in a couple of other ingredients. Let's add some salt for seasoning. Let's add in some garam masala powder, not too much, but a biryani does need some garam masala at least. Give this a good mix. So now I'm going to add in the remaining green chilies because I like a spicy biryani, and since it's a white biryani, we can't go overboard with using any other kind of spice. Green chilies are perfect for something like this. So the gravy for a biryani is almost ready. We just need to add a couple more ingredients. So what I'm going to add next is around a spoonful of cream. You could avoid this if you think the biryani is going too rich for your liking. But it is a white creamy biryani, so it's got to have all of these ingredients. Let's give this a mix. 
Next, I'm going to add in some very coarsely crushed black pepper corns. Now the gravy is almost done. We're going to put off the flame. I'm going to add a slight sprinkling of cardamom powder, green cardamom powder. Give this a mix. And I will keep this aside and then start assembling our biryani. So now we're going to assemble our biryani. We're going to do it slightly differently today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat some ghee in a pan. Add in the whole spices, add in the soaked rice and then layers of chicken will follow. So first let's add some ghee. So to the ghee, I'm going to add in a few cloves, another piece of cinnamon, around two green cardamom pods, a couple of whole black peppercorns, and a tiny little pinch of saffron. And now we're going to mix all of this nicely for a bit till, the, till the, all the masalas release their flavor. So this is the perfect time. So I'm going to add in the soaked rice. So we've added in, added in the rice and we're just going to let this thing heat up a bit. I'm going to add a slight pinch of salt for seasoning. Give it a mix again. And then I'm going to just cover this and let it cook for a couple of minutes till the rice is, is slightly fluffy and almost done. While the rice is cooking, we're just going to dissolve some saffron with some water which we're going to add to the biryani later. So let's put this aside. So we're going to prepare this mixture that goes over the biryani. For that, I'm going to take some butter, a couple of spoons of fresh cream, and the saffron that we dissolved in water. You could use it directly. So we're going to mix all of this. I'm just going to put this in the microwave for a bit so the butter melts and then you get one nice homogeneous mixture. So you got this beautiful saffron, cream and butter mixture which we're going to put aside for a bit. Now the chicken gravy that we prepared, it does not have anything sour. So once it's slightly cooled down, we're going to add in the lemon juice to it. So I'm going to add in around one, one and a half spoonfuls of lemon juice. Let's give this a mix and let's put this aside for a bit. Now we're just going to layer the chicken and the rice together and let it just cook for about a couple of minutes till we get a beautiful delicious biryani ready. I've put the flame off on the rice because it was almost three-fourth cooked. And now I've got this pan. I'm going to add a spoonful of ghee. And I'm going to add in the chicken that we prepared into this pan. And over this, I'm going to add in a layer of rice. And then some more chicken. And finally, the last layer of rice. So now I'm going to add in the fried onions. Now I'm going to add in the mixture that we prepared with saffron and cream and butter. I'm just going to drizzle it over it and more importantly along the side so it seeps through right the bottom. Now we're going to cover this and cook it for about 5 to 10 minutes on low heat till you can see that there's amazing steam accumulated inside. We don't need to be worried about cooking anything because we've almost parboiled the rice and the chicken was almost done. So we just need it all to accumulate together and get one gorgeous biryani. So it's been around 8 to 10 minutes and our biryani has been cooking in a low flame all this while. It's time to plate this biryani. It looks great and it smells gorgeous. So now I'm just going to transfer this into a bowl and then I'm going to dig into it. I'm going to garnish this with a few mint leaves. So here it is, our white chicken biryani, a creamy, simple chicken biryani, which goes really easy on the spices but still packs a punch. I hope you guys try this recipe.